When I used to break my grandma's fancy emerald china, my grandpa would talk to her. He was gentle. He'd be there for my baseball games to awkward phase, happy like it was his birthday. Every day, and the only present he ever needed was a smile. He was happy. He told me the day I left for college, don't do anything he already didn't. That's my gramps. <laughs> Today is his birthday. Today is his 82nd birthday. Arlen, like the age proper Scott, she kept behind his brown barrel shaped bar. Milton, like Bradley, cause our identities were a puzzle. Only he could guess who, connect for, unscrabble, and solve my lay. Like the Hawaiian lay offered to demonstrate peace, love, and our culture. Like my last name. M-A-I-L-E, like not your lay, but my lay. <laughs> my gramps is the umbilical cord to my culture. An ancestrally native, ethnic, indigenous constellation with our own son scientifically proven, identified and called Arlen. He taught me how to swim, wear a suit and tie, live 50th state style. It's 82 today. But I am confused by what he used to show me. The Hawaiian flag, an Elizabethan, Washingtonian, imperialistic affair, abiding tale of creative religious prostitution, fascinatingly told story frames, heroes commodifying heathens, a last second game winning touchdown for whalers, missionaries, Captain Cook, American businessman, and Lauren Thurston, matching the Hawaiian monarchy against Team USA and colonial control. I always wondered why my grandpa was in the Navy. It's his laha now. He'd be old enough to tell me a story why. Outstretched, warm, comfortable words replaced my grandfather's short but careful arms, teaching me Hawaiianist identity and family. Tattooed to my elbows, May 24, 2012, nudging me awake, reminding me who I am and where I'm from. A tattoo hasn't got shit on the enduringly inked inscriptions left in my boyish ball playing memories. His name is Arlen. I drink shattered brown glass bottled metaphors. Today is his birthday. I break barriers with my poems know he isn't just Arlen and it's not just his birthday. I built bicycles out of the droughts I wrote of this poem to exercise my thoughts, fearful of polluting my indigeneity. What would 82 look like on you? This place from my cultural center, privileged by an education dominated by English, I'm trying to remember your dry humorous jokes. Brown wrinkled hands, your secret money-gifting handshakes, our heritage, the Budweiser breath, and your birthday. Happy birthday, Grandpa.